Hey everybody, I am going to do a dip technique and I was actually about to go upstairs and watch TV um, until I started playing around with the tile from the last video um, that I had poured for my reverse mallet. I started dipping it into the white paint that was in my tray and it was so pretty. So then I mixed my plans of going upstairs and now I'm doing this. Um, so this is a 11 by 14 canvas. Um, I don't really like this size. I like squares, but it's fine. It'll do. Um, so, so far for colors, I've got Grumbacher, Dioxazine Purple, Artist Loft Deep Yellow, Deep Magenta, and um, Mystery Red. And for my, quote, stamper, I've got a piece of wood that I put packing tape over so that it's smooth. That should work. And I'm going to have to, um, to get the effect I, did I tape the back? I did. To get the effect I want, I'm going to have to pour this white thick. So the show that I wanted to go upstairs and finish watching is Homecoming on Amazon. Julia Roberts is in it. Sam Esmail's the director, the guy who does Mr. Robot, which is a very peculiar show. And if you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And one of the other characters in the show is Lip from Shameless. Um, and I love him. So I watched this, I started it last night having absolutely no idea about what it was about. I just read an article on Facebook, one of those, look what's coming to Amazon this month. And it was listed and it said it's a fast binge because the episodes are less than a half hour long. So I was like, oh sweet, I can do that. Um, and so I started it and I didn't even, I haven't even cheated yet to look online to find out what it's about. I'm halfway through, so I have more of an idea, but it's a, um, not really sure what, what, what all's going on in it, but it's really good. So if you need a really quick binge worthy show, Homecoming on Netflix. And with that name, Homecoming, it sounds like it would be some boring, like, melodrama. But, so, they really should have given it a better name. Because Homecoming does not elicit exciting sci-fi weirdness. Which, I don't even know if it's sci-fi, but it's something. As I told you, I have no idea what I'm watching. All right. So, in a, which side did I, okay. In a perfect world, I was trying to find something round. Um, these, well, you know what? Okay, I'm setting this aside. Those are so small though. I was going to think maybe I could put, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the block. Time to mix up some more Grumbacher Dioxazine Purple with Iridescent Medium. It is my favorite combo. Um, oh, and um, Linda Clark sent me a Michaels gift card, so I still haven't used it. I can't wait. And I have had some very generous um, PayPal contributions. 
I apologize, I do not have those names written down next to me, but I will get I will get them written down so that you can properly be acknowledged. I send people personal emails, but it's it's always fun to see your name in a public forum, you know? So I will I will do that. But I'm excited for to go to Michael's. And I also have to get at Michael's. Um, I bought a painting in Israel that needs a frame. I really wish I'd had more time to shop for artwork because there's some gorgeous artwork and uh, ran out of time. Okay, so, God, this is, let's see. Check it out. Maybe I have too much white though, because I'm afraid. I'm gonna have to tilt that all off. Well, maybe not all of it. I can keep what's there, but. This, th this is Ann Osborne. <laughs> guys are giving me a complex. Well, some of you have written, you know, I miss, you know, there used to be, you could identify your paintings, but I have had some, you know, playing around with new things and I don't know, maybe I, oh no, I lost that. It's fun to try new, but it's also feels good to go back to <gasps> oh, crud. Okay. I'm spelling some of that off. I need to just shut up and shut up and paint. Um, I want some blue on here. To get to working on some I usually don't do well I haven't last year I did do um, some ornaments I need to bring those back down to the store that had them last year um, the ones that didn't sell I'll be bringing back most of them sold but a couple didn't and I always toy with the idea of doing crafty, but I probably won't. I'm going to be busy enough trying to get ready for my show in January, I think. And I did a mixed media piece today, which I haven't done in at least a year. So that was fun. Oh my gosh, I love this.
what other colors I have. If there's anything else I want to add. I think I'm good, actually. I just realized that I might have been doing this off camera. So you might not have even been seeing what I am doing with but I really don't want to do it over the painting for obvious reasons. Pretty. Look at that. Let me put that up here. I was like, I wonder if I should have done the side, but I do have tape on the side, so I can use that to kind of bring it out. And so I am just dipping it in um, the white paint from my tray, which is an... Um, Washing machine pan, you can find it on my Amazon list in the video description. I really should, um, gosh, what, okay, here's where I need your ideas. This is beautiful, but it's a raggedy old piece of wood. What could I use that could be something useful after, like it could dry? Because um, I don't know what people would do with a block of wood. Unless I got tons of blocks of wood, all the same size, and created something that way. That could be very cool. All right, but I'm actually going to wipe this off because I still need it. Because, and this purple tends to do it. See how the purple is globbing up there? I don't like, well, you know what? I'm actually going to torch it first because I might have white cells popping up all over. Some. And I also realized I haven't tilted this. But I don't want to lose most of it, so instead of tilting, I'll go see if there's any extra I'm glad I did that first tilt at the very beginning that I wasn't planning on doing.
going to dip it again in the white just to break this up. Baby's got her groove back. Yes, 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 I do. Yeah, except for the fact that I just dribbled all that white paint on my lap. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't go upstairs to watch TV. Oh my. Now I'm just going to. I don't like it when the colors glob together like that, but um, there's really. No choice. Right now I have a Queen song stuck in my head from Sing Bohemian Rhapsody the other night. This one is, these are the, these are the days of our lives. Now you know why I don't sing. And I'm picturing him in his cat vest on that video, which was sadly, I believe the last video before he passed away. Okay, now I'm going to look at it. Aren't you guys proud of me? I am looking at it from all sorts of different angles. See, I do listen to you guys. I don't always agree, but I listen. Unless you're saying something mean. Then I don't want to listen. Like, let's see, I have some color down here, mm, might not be very much, let's try and dip, I would like, like something to go over, there. Oh, you know what I realized is I can just take that tape off and um, have a clean 
block of wood to work with. Ooh, I love this. It's so pretty. Check it out. Now we'll go closer and closer and closer and closer. So pretty. And no silicone. Yeah, this is definitely an Ann Osborne. Look at that. That area is just gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support and love, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.